Okay, here we have a uh, helper. Now I've just created that, so you'll need to do that as well and just align it in the center. Uh, add a position constraint to it so that it's attached to the control spline and uh, that will just follow it. Um, then click, uh, select your spline and uh, add a spline select modifier. This is going to let us select uh, all the vertices that we want our next modifier, which is the linked X form, to apply to. So uh, pick your control object and then finally just one more spline select modifier uh, to deselect all your vertices. This link text form is basically enabling it to morph uh, through the curve profile. And if we go to one I created earlier, uh, here we go. This will just uh, yeah morph between uh, the different points of the curve profile. So beautifully done.